The Aries is our uh, student database that we use uh, to keep in real time uh, all student information. Our Garden Grove Unified School site um, is mykids.ggusd.us. Uh, every parent here should have a login information because that is how you register. If you don't, you can call the guidance office uh, and they can give you information um, to you know, get your password back or set up an account. Um, you can see down here that you can um, set a language. Uh, so you don't need any uh, translator here. It'll just translate automatically. Um, and uh, so it makes it real convenient. Uh, I am going to use a uh, demonstration page so to keep confidential. So this where it says Screaming Eagle High School will say Garden Grove High School uh, once you log in to your uh, page here. Um, there's a lot of information that you can gain from Aries. Um, as you can see here, uh, demographics, you can check and make sure everything is right uh, here, supplemental, all of these things that we use internally, that information. But we're going to focus tonight on looking at grades. Um, and so for me, one of the most useful um, pages is the profile page because this will get you to um, these individual uh, classes and so you can click into any one of these classes and let's see because uh, Mr. Uh, Alan Abbott here is getting a D um, we can just click on civics and we can see that uh, he's missing these two assignments um, which has zeros we can look and see you know he's getting 80% in this homework 100% um, and you can just look at each one of these uh, areas to see how your student is doing. Um, if you click on one of these plus signs, it'll give you the due date. Uh, teachers also can put a long description in here. Um, the time that is due, if that's specified. Um, sometimes you'll see under documents um, a PDF that you can download or your student can download for homework. Um, uh, and so this gives you all that uh, information. At the very bottom, you'll find uh, a legend. So this is how the grade is made up. And this class homework is worth um, this many points, 310, or 301, 100 points for classwork, um, quizzes, um, tests, uh, with a total number of points um, possible. Um, and the percentage, some teachers will put in the actual percentage of the grade. Um, but so we know right now that in homework, the student is, uh, has an F and A in classwork, no quizzes yet, and a C in test with a total score of a D at 64.73%. So that will give you some real time information about how your student is doing in class. Um, at, at grade time, um, like quarter grades are due, uh, were just, just reported, or progress reports, those grades are gonna come up um, in, under the grades tab. And so you can see it'll be highlighted the current grade. Um, so um, in this situation, like if you're uh, looking at the end of a quarter and the grade's not here, the teacher just hasn't reported yet, those grades are determined, or the final grades are determined uh, dates for all teachers. but. Um, you can see this before a report card even comes to your house along with the comments on the side. So this is really quite useful. Um, let me go back to the profile page and see. Um, maybe uh, this is useful to this trend um, because this will tell you if a student is maintaining or doing better. Like if they're improving, it's green. If they're maintaining, uh, it's blue. And if they're declining, it'll be in red here. And if you click in here, it'll give you a graph of when the student uh, started here, like at 80% and over here at 100%. Um, so you can see trends. Um, so that's very useful. The other thing is, as we look at in, in real time is attendance. Attendance is one of those key areas of uh, whether a student is gonna be successful or not. 
and we keep it in real time. Um, and you can look in here to see kind of what your student has been marked. Um, a U is unexcused, we use that. A T is for truant, so if a student is gone and we don't know why. Um, holidays are pre-marked. Um, that's, uh, they use a different kind of legend, but we have um, uh, an L for uh, late, for tardy. Um, and so you can see here, and so if you look here and, and want to know well, what period was my student uh, truant? Um, you can hover and zero period, they were marked truant. So this is just a really good piece of information because you can look at um, like in real time, but overall you can look over the year, uh, spring term, fall term uh, statistics. Um, if you go to, I believe it's the home page, Maybe this is a profile page. Um, and you scroll down, um, it will also give you this legend um, for the month, for the week. So uh, this student was absent 21 times, 20 period absences, six unexcused, and a total number of days present, 253. Our, our days are different. Um, along that same page, you can see the total number of credits completed, credits earned, and credits still needed towards graduation. Um, so just a lot of information, but we want to focus really on grades um, and attendance because those go hand in hand. And I did forget to mention that there's the missing assignments will come uh, in this column here. Uh, if it's a missing assignment, it'll be highlighted in red. Um, and we, we did look at that um, in the details and you see they're marked in red there as well. Um, again, if you have are not able to get on and you forgot your login, you can call the guidance office and they can help you.